Hey guys, what's going on? Nick here with GearNut. So, if you're like me, and you're getting into Kydex, and you're probably like, you know, I don't have a lot of money to buy myself an Arbor Press with some really good dies, well, what's the best way to get into Kydex on the cheap? Well, you're going to need some stuff, but one of the most important things you're going to need is a way to press eyelets. So, let's get this out of the way, and let's show you guys how GearNut started out pressing eyelets. So, I have a three pound mallet, and a journeyman die guide, and a journeyman die set from knifekits.com. So everything for the first year and a half, almost two years, that I made and even sold was with this. But I did not, repeat, I did not use the three pound mallet. So, knifekits.com does not recommend what I'm about to show you. Um, you guys do this. If you guys do it, you're going to do it at your own risk. If you damage your project, if you damage your dies, your guides, or anything, that's all on you. That's my disclaimer. But I had really good results out of doing this method, and it was cheap, guys. It, uh, <laughs> it was awesome. So, let's pretend I need to put a rivet in right up here or let's, let's do right here. So you'll pop, pop your rivets in here guys and then you'll take your journeyman die guide and journeyman die set and you'll put your project in there mosquito and you put your project in here like so. Well you guys probably have guessed what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this in this vise over here. So if you guys are gonna put this in your vise make sure you have a pretty decent vise. You don't want a lot of slop in the jaws of this vise and you want it to close and when it closes you don't want one side to close before the other you want this whole gap to shut at once get yourself a decent vise most of you guys probably already have these things so check it out and see if it's you know good enough that you can press rivets with it and this one works out great i started out with a four inch performix vise from menards for 29 bucks and I think this die set was like 24 bucks and the die guide was like 12. So it's pretty cheap press, uh, rivet press, guys. But uh, you'll just take and set this in here like so and snug it up. Make sure it's sitting in there kind of level. And then you just take and start turning on it. And take a couple pieces of scrap kydex, drill some holes, and waste a couple rivets until you guys get the feel for it. So, but uh, you know, you just do this. And then take it out, set it down, move it to your next hole, stick it back up in here. It's, it's not the fastest, guys. It takes quite a bit of time to do that, but it works. And it gives you really good results, guys. So this Leatherman sheath, uh, I pressed the rivets with that, and I had no issues. So, but uh, I've been doing that with this die set for quite a while. You guys can see right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, it's pretty marred up right there. And I bet you it's a little marred up back here on this plate and stuff like that. But uh, if you guys are looking for a really cheap way to get into Kydex and get really good results, you know, semi-professional, you know, if you lined it up, you couldn't tell the difference between what I'm pressing with my Arbor Press and what I press with this little die setup. You couldn't tell the difference, guys. So, knifekits.com. I'm sorry if I stole some business from you, but, you know, I bought your press, you know, I bought your dies, I buy all my stuff from you guys, you know. Cut us a break here. Not everybody can afford to buy your Arbor Press. So, sorry if I upset you, knifekits.com, but, uh, you know what? Sometimes people are just getting into this for a little hobby, and it's not for everybody. Not everybody can do Kydex, but a lot of you guys could. So I encourage all of you guys to go out and try making stuff out of Kydex. I would really like to see what you guys have to make. Um, you know what? <laughs> Absolutely love it. Aircord USA, you inspired me to make this video. So you know what? YouTube's about sharing, guys, and helping each other out. And if you got a little life tip or trick or hack, I'd like to see it, you know? Uh, let's help each other out and you know what? Let's see what we can create together. It'd be pretty fun. So that's what I got guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. 
guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the description box below. And if you want to, you guys can subscribe to me. If you like these kind of videos, that is. So, that's what I got. I'll check you guys later.